during our last lesson, we heard two stories. First story we heard about was Darian and Marshall, the patch part three. And we can't forget about um, Photon and the story Lost in Space with Shannon. Marshall and Shannon needed to focus on using their gifts wisely and managing their emotions. Today, we are going to continue following Shannon's story and see what happens on Planet Photon. Next year, the king shrieked. Next year, fix. Now eat. Eat, Shannon said, but no one heard her. The creatures had gone crazy again. Four times as many appeared, tumbling from every door, each carrying baskets overflowing with strange fruit of all colors and sizes that rolled in Shannon, rolled at Shannon until she was knee deep in the stuff. But sir, she said, or your majesty, or whatever you are, I can't eat all of this. Besides, um, eat, the king said. He was loud, but he sounded kind. Shannon had little choice. She picked up a piece of fruit and bit into it. It tasted wonderful, like spice and honey. Her bite set off a riot. The creatures dove into the fruit, gobbling it as though they had never eaten before. They chomped and grabbed and chomped some more. Soon the floor was a river of juice and smashed fruit. The king did not seem to care. He gulped whole fruits in single bites. Juice ran in streams down his fur as he gurgled and sighed with satisfaction. Shannon ignored the creatures until she had eaten her fill. Then, however, she knew that she had to do something. She could not possibly stay on Photon for a year. Suddenly, in a loud voice, Shannon said, Your Majesty, this must stop. To her surprise, the king raised his hand and the room fell silent. I'm sorry, but I cannot let this go on. I must repair my cruiser. If you have no repairman to help me, I will need tools. I must repair the ship myself. No eat, the king said, and his eyes looked sadder than usual. I have eaten and I thank you for the food. But now I need to take action. I want to go home. The king nodded. He seemed to understand. Shannon had no choice about landing on planet Photon, but she can make choices now. So how is she avoiding becoming like a photon creature? When you are in a group, do you make choices for yourself or do you let the group choose for you? Sometimes a group makes decisions by voting, but sometimes people make decisions for others when maybe they really don't feel comfortable with doing that or they don't want to. How are the two things different? Many younger people can feel like a lot of choices are made for them. So what I want you to do is kind of jot down some things that you decide to do. I want you guys to make a list of all the choices that you do get to make. Choices are thoughts and our actions are based on our thoughts. If you're unsure if something is a positive or a negative choice, see how that choice makes you feel. See how that thought makes you feel after you have Act it. on that choice. And... If you feel good about yourself, it was probably a positive choice. In our next lesson, we will continue to follow Shannon and Planet Photon.